Your Excellency Sun Mang Gershit, External Affairs Minister of India, Your Excellency Uvana Mueng Luin, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Myanmar, Your Excellency Le Leung Ming, Secretary General of ASEAN, President of FICSI, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. First of all, I would like to express my sincere thanks and appreciation to the host India for the warm welcome and hospitality extended to my delegation and myself, as well as for the excellent arrangement made for this significant event. It is my great pleasure to join you today at the Delhi Dialogue uh, 6 in New Delhi. I would like to start by pointing out that the geopolitical and economic landscape of the region and the world remains complex and evolving. There remain unsolved disputes and differences in various parts of the world that hinder peace, stability, and prosperity in those regions and the world at large. At the same time, however, it is uh, important to note that the growing cooperation between and among countries to maintain and further promote peace, stability, and development. In my opinion, all countries should spare no effort to, in order to further strengthen in this, uh, strengthen this uh, prevailing trend and ensure that competition and cooperation with uh, usually come together bring about win-win results. The Asia-Pacific region today, with its rapid and sustained economic growth, is playing an even more important role uh, than ever as a grow and change uh, of the global community. Within the Asia-Pacific Asia region, uh, economic growing, uh, economic grouping and processes of uh, regional, regional integration have been uh, vibrant uh, and taking various uh, forms at the sub-regional regional and international levels, all of which uh, have lead a solid foundation for countries in this region to expand and enhance economic cooperation, especially toward trade uh, liberalizations. Likewise, ASEAN is now trying to expertise uh, the ASEAN community binding process. Uh, particularly, the ASEAN economic community uh, binding by 2015, which has been demonstrate fruitful cooperation with, uh, within ASEAN, uh, thus contributing as a thriving force of Asia in uh, forming new global partners partnerships. ASEAN prides itself of being an open and outward looking organization, promoting ASEAN external relations, taking into account the recent trends aimed at contributing to the global development agenda. An ASEAN community Driven, driven by shared principle of recognition of 
diverse political system and respect for the different cultural and particular particularity of each member state. It's unite under one community that provides an opportunity to learn from each other, to care and to share one another. This is one of the special future uh, of uh, being a group of nations in the global community. I very much hope that the global community will support ASEAN in this right direction. Mr. Chairman, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, India has been a very important dialogue partner of ASEAN. The leaders of ASEAN and India adopted a vision statement in 2012 in New Delhi at the commemorative summit uh, marking two decades, uh, for two decades of dialogue relations and elevated uh, the ASEAN-India uh, relationship to the level of a strategic partnership. The vision statement binding on an already robust relationship shapes the future of ASEAN-India cooperation towards peace and shared prosperity. In order to achieve this uh, common goal and why making important contribution to ASEAN effort in building its community by 2015, it is necessary that we take concrete steps to ensure that the initiatives set out in this strategic vision statement are uh, translated into concrete action. In this connection, Delhi Dialogue has a track 1.5 channel bringing together various uh, stakeholders to uh, deliberate on way and mean to intensify ASEAN-India cooperation has an important role to play in putting forward uh, practical, uh, practical recommendations for achieving these uh, objectives. This year, uh, them, a team realizing uh, the India-ASEAN vision for partnership and prosperity is uh, therefore very relevant to what ASEAN and India uh, aspire to accomplish. The partnership between ASEAN and India over the past 20 years has expanded significantly to cover the, a, a wide range of areas including political security, economic and socio-cultural dimension. Progress on all these fronts uh, through a number of agreements and joint initiatives has been impressive. India has been an active uh, contributor to uh, in the ASEAN Plus One, ASEAN Regional Forum, the East Asia Summit, and the ASEAN Defence Minister uh, Meeting Plus. One, the economic front, trade linkage, and economic cooperation lay, uh, have uh, strengthened uh, to the implementation of ASEAN-India Free Trade Agreement, including the Trade in Goods Agreement, and has uh, helped increase uh, liber uh, 
บาลีตโรเทรดทูเซเวนเซเวนติฟายพอยซิกบิลลิอนยูเอสดอลลาร์อินทูซัสซันเทรลบอร์ดสายเฮฟอัลโซบินวอร์กิ่งคลอสลีทูเกเดอร์ออนอาเซียนอินเทกเรชันและอาเซียนคอมมูนิตี้บินดิ้งเฮสเวอร์เอสคอมมินอาเรชโนและอินเทอร์เนชโนอิสูส์ของคอมมูนคอนเซิร์นไอไม่เอ็ดเดดเดอร์เอนเฮนซ์เรลชั่นบิทวินอาเซียนและอินเดียทุเดย์อิสอัลโซ A reflection of the expansion and deepening of India look is policy. This in case, d e l e g a t e ladies and gentlemen, despite this uh, remarkable re, uh, uh, development, there is still uh, untapped potential to explore. And room to advance our bilateral cooperation order to the further enhance ASEAN-India relation. India's uh, increased uh, participation of Southeast Asia will bring in a great opportunity to economic cooperation and regional integration. Taking into account the above uh, mentioned achievement and uh, opportunity. Combined with the recommendation made by the ASEAN India uh, eminent persons group, in view of the further boosting our relation, I wish to share the following views. First, effective and successfully uh, partnership of fundamentally require uh, participation and effort from different actors. Uh, and institutes in order to create a n good quality and uh, reliable partnership for development cooperation between ASEAN and India. Secondly, the conclusion of uh, negotiation of trade and services agreement in investment agreement between ASEAN and India at the end of 2012. Was an important step toward and completion of ASEAN India FTA. Uh, the earlier uh, signing by Economic Minister and entry into the, into force of uh, the agreement will help ensure that the two-way trade large uh, target of uh, uh, US of uh, 10 billion. 10 billion US dollar set by our leaders at the 10 ASEAN India Summit in Phnom Penh 2012 can be realized uh, uh, thereby building a strong basis for India to uh, contribute to the ongo ongoing regional uh, comprehensive economic partnership uh, uh, negotiation. Thirdly, I would like to emphasize the uh, desire and a strong win of both ASEAN and India in searching for the more uh, uh, efficient um, uh, infrastructure linking that will uh, facilitate and promote further trade and investment between uh, our two regions in the year to come. We should further strengthen our cooperation in uh, connectivity, particularly infrastructure development such as India, Myanmar, Laos, Vietnam, uh, Cambodia road connection, as well as India, Myanmar, Thailand uh, highway connecting uh, Laos and Cambodia. Therefore, I strongly hope that India will continue to uh, render support, not only uh, sharing India's best uh, expert, expertise, expertise and uh, technology transfer, but also funding contribution. Uh, Excellency, 
เออสลาวอินเดียเบลตรอลเรเลชั่นเอ่อทักกิ้งอินดิสอปอร์ตูนิตี้ไอวิสเอ่อทูเอ็กซ์เพรสไมซินเซียทังทูเดอะกาวเมนต์แอนด์พีเพิลออฟอินเดียฟอร์เดอะคอนซิสเตนต์ซัพพอร์ตแอนด์อะสิสเตนต์เอ็กซ์เทนดิทูเดอะลาวพีเดียอินอิมพิเมนติ้งเอ่ออิมพอร์ตแอนด์โปรเจกต์เนมลี Transmission lines, irrigation, human resource development, public health, science and uh, information technology, and uh, aviation and others. Uh, during the past years, cooperation between Laos and India has uh, wider and deepened in various areas with a fruitful outcome through the framework. Of the Laos India Joint Commission, uh, the year 2011 mark the 55th uh, anniversary of uh, Laos and India diplomatic relations. I am of the view that the building on this good uh, foundation, and with joint effort uh, of our two nations, the cooperation between our two countries will continue to grow. Uh, uh, To grow in the future. Thank you very much for your attention.